What's going on guys? Johnny with Blades of Grass Long Care. Let's go straight into the video, okay? We don't want any fluff. We want to go straight into the video. Now remember I had my rack bolted on the bed of the truck. And you know, both of them, these right here, were just bolted straight onto the bed of the truck. Uh, and the reason I, I did that is because I currently have a headache rack and I didn't want to get rid of my headache rag because I, you know, I like the look. Now, uh, I called Dale. Dale is the uh, is a maker of the uh, Mow and Go system that I have in the back here, my ramp. So I told him, I said, hey, Dale, you know, is there anything that you can do? Make me a bar so that, you know, my, my rack can kind of stick out because I kind of like this. You know, it was too flimsy. Anytime I drove, it kind of wobbles just a little bit. And it wasn't sturdy, guys. I'll be honest with you. It looked good, but it wasn't sturdy. Okay? Um, so, he came up with this uh, contraption. And, man, let me tell you, Dale is a genius. Okay? This guy is a genius. So, <laughs> give him his props, right? Now, what he did was... He came in and made me this bar right here. Now, it goes into, you know, everybody have that little uh, inlet, right? You have one here and you have one on the end, but I can't use the one on the end uh, because, again, the uh, uh, headache rack is there. So, he made me this little contraption here where it stops right here right and it bolts into this portion right here and in the back here maybe you can see it it has another bolt that is like a c so once you tighten this up the whole thing doesn't move this 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 thing is sturdy it doesn't move and it holds awesome right so from this portion you come out with this piece right here coming out and he made this C-clamp kind of thingy. And what I love is that he also made it, made it this way where, you know, sometimes when, hold on. Sometimes when you install your rack and it's too heavy, it'll kind of swindle to the outside. So if that were to happen, all I have to do is to tighten this, loosen this up right here and bring the, the rack up and it'll be le uh, level from the front and back. Make sense? And on the front is two bolts right here, two bolts right here, and it comes on this side, here and here, and it holds the actual rack, and the same thing in the front. And guys, let me see if I can do this real quick. This thing is, look at that. You're moving the whole freaking truck. This thing is, is extremely sturdier than the one I had, right? So I'm happy. Um, I'm extremely happy with what he did. Um, and I drove it around and it is, uh, again, it doesn't move. It is nice and sturdy. Now, keeping in mind that I have battery powered equipment and these things only weigh like six pounds. Um, but, but, uh, you have the ability to, you know, bring it up, bring it down right now. Everything is level. And he came up with another contraption. Remember, I used to have <laughs> these right here. Only my shovel here and my rake over here. So he came up with this contraption right here. And basically, it's, see right here? It's kind of, it falls in there. And it comes around here. And this right here, guys, this swivels, okay? With these two bolts right here, it swivels. So if I wanted to swivel this way, or I wanted to swivel this way, even if I want to actually uh, have these go straight, you know, align them with the rack, I can do it. I can just swivel it and it will hold my shovel and my rake, you know, those are things that I carry with me all the time. So yeah, this is, oops, 
Sorry about that. This is a initial look at the new way I'm carrying my rack. And I kind of like it because again, it's right here. It's right here. I don't have to come up here and take the first one off and then come up here and take the other one off. Everything is right here to the side. Everything is secured. Everything is tight. It's not moving anywhere. So that is awesome. Now, one thing that I wanted to do, and again, I'm not sure, maybe I'm not gonna do it, but I was thinking about um, switching my blower with my fuel can because this right here, I can easily have it here swinging this way and, and it'll give me a lot more room if I wanna put something else in the bag. But the reality is now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I don't need to because I'm not gonna put anything else up there. I'm not. So it makes no sense in a way, right? Now that I'm actually voicing it to you guys and talking to you, it makes no sense for me to do that. I'm probably gonna just leave it like this anyway. Um, I've been sort of using the battery blower here and there as much as I can, but I love having um, my, my gas blower because technology is not there yet. And oh, and for you guys that don't know, I purchased a 450. I got rid of my two BR800Cs and I can't do this with one hand. I just wanna show you guys, that's all. So, why I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. As you can tell guys, I keep everything nice and covered. So I can take care of my equipment. All right, I have a uh, BR450 and um, I opted with this because I already have a BR600 that I love. The 450 is close. I mean, everything is close to the 600. But what I love about the 450 is that it has this nozzle right here that basically go up and down and when i'm blowing out plant beds you know plant bed cleanups or whatever the case might be i can utilize this blower uh, and it makes it a lot easier now the reality is um i'm not using the 800s um because again my situation is completely different to yours in the winter time i'm not doing as much leaf blowing or whatever the case might be but the, the little bit of leaf cleanup that i do uh, doesn't entail for me to have such a big blower. Um, so, and I have a Husqvarna, uh, they're big boy. I forgot their, the, the, the number of it, but I have one. So I can always utilize that. Plus if you, you know, let's be honest, man, the, the workmanship of steel is kind of, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's questionable, man, you know? I, I, I'm trying to work with the steel brand, but you know, case in point with this one, um, I took it, you know, two days after I purchased it, I took it to the dealer and uh, they took the little uh, thingy out out of there, you know, the muffler and, and, and did a little bit of a tune up on it. And I'm like, come on, man, this is day two of having this blower and I was having issues starting it. But now everything is good to go. It is working good and I have zero issues and hopefully it stays like that. Now you guys know the next thing I'm gonna do, as a matter of fact, it is kind of windy today, but um, I'm gonna paint this red. And I already spoke to the dealer and I have zero issues with my warranty if I paint it because um, the cover is not, you know, I mean, you don't take your, your, your blower in for, for, for the cover um the orange portion of it you take it in for what's inside right so the dealer say it has no issues and i spoke to other dealers with other brands and a color does not void your warranty okay so you guys know and all you guys that were dming me on, on instagram color does not void your warranty um you know so there you go and i like all my stuff to be matching in red and black just like my mower red and black Everything that I have is going to be red and black. 
Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in regards to the new setup. And uh, everything that you see in this video will be in the video description, including a link to the Mo and Go system rack and uh, a, a more detailed uh, view on the Mo and Go system is on my main YouTube page. So in my in my 2023 setup. So if you want more questions in regards to the Mo and Go system go there and i kind of show you how it's hooked up and everything all right all right guys have a blessed one see you on the next one let me know if you have any comments like share follow subscribe all that good stuff and check out my instagram as well man have a blessed one pop smoke Peace.